Joining me with the family's reaction to the Department of Defense rejection notice is Karen Peralta, Sergeant Peralta's younger sister. Karen, thank you so much for talking with us about this tonight. Your brother, Rafael, joined the Marines the day he got his green card. Tell us about him and why he wanted to join the Marines. Um, he wanted to join the Marines. Um, actually, it was at high school. Uh, you know how they talk about military and stuff? And he said, I want to do it. And my mom actually, um, they have like a, in the TV, they had like a little preview of the Marines. And my mom said, oh, I want you to be that, son. And he said, yeah. And he joined the Marines the day he got his green card. And tell me about your family. I mean, so you're from your family's from Mexico, and then he just decided he wanted to do this for America, for the, the type of person he is. What was sort of behind that? Yes, um, my family is from Mexico, and um, I mean, I guess that's what he wanted to do. I guess that's what his calling was. And ever since he wanted to, he's been in. He was in love with the Marines, with the military. Why is it important for you, for uh, your family, to to have your brother receive this Medal of Honor, which is the the highest medal given given by Congress? Uh, for justice, I believe, because it's not only my family, but other people as well that supports us that believes he deserves the Medal of Honor. So it's about him deserving it. Exactly. Okay. Um, your family got a call from Panetta's office about two weeks ago saying things were going clear on this. Um, then what happened? Um, then they denied it, I believe. I just, I barely found out yesterday about this, that he wasn't going to receive it. Um, my sister called my mom and I was in school actually and my mom called me saying that there's no going to be no Medal of Honor. And you left school, right? Yes. Your family's upset about this. Exactly. There's been some rumor that um, I want you to clarify for us that he was awarded uh, the Navy Cross back in 2008, which is the highest honor um, that you can get from the Navy. But there's been some rumors out there about how your family accepted that. So t clarify for us. Um, people say that we've denied it. We haven't denied it. We just haven't had time as a family to pick it up. We haven't made that time. So you're going to go as a family to exactly. D.C. to? Yes, we just don't know exactly when, but f we have not denied it. I know you don't want to talk about specifics, but um, when it comes to this, this, obviously it's been a roller coaster with this receiving the Medal of Honor. There, there's been all sorts of uh, details looking at this particular case. What does that say to your family about it? Do you have ideas as to why this is not happening? Uh, we actually don't know. There's a lot of contradiction going on. Uh, people say that, like, I mean, he received the Navy Cross because they're saying that he did do it. And then over here, they're the Medal of Honor. They're saying because he wasn't um, able to do it. It's just it's a lot of mixture going on. Absolutely. And just to clarify, there's the one story from the eyewitnesses from his platoon that basically said he pulled this grenade exactly. toward him and, and saved their lives. But the autopsy report doctors are saying, um, no, he wasn't able to because he had been um, shot it's ahead of time. E yeah. E either way, he, mm -hmm. he did protect his his uh, fellow exactly. uh, fellow uh, troops. N now, the Navy is uh, naming a destroyer after your brother. Um, what else? How else would you like to see him remembered? Um, well, obviously as a hero, um, a really fun, outgoing guy that gave everything for other people. He was very helpful to other people. What has this taught you? You're 21, you're in school. What has this taught you? What, does this make you want to be something or do something or have choose a particular career? Um, it makes me want to do uh, better. It, my brother's a role model for me and I believe every other person and it's taught me to it's made me strong very strong and it's just taught me to fight for what I want something to live up to exactly all right Karen Peralta thank you so much for talking with us today thank you